So now that we have sorted that out, let's take a look at our next topic, which is standard versus custom. Okay. These two words are very underrated and they are used often. They are used a lot. Can we not do this on standard? Why do we need custom? Oh, you created a custom profile. Ah, why do we need a custom profile? Is that a custom automation? Is that a standard out of the box offering? Is that a custom rule that you have written? Why don't you take the standard approach? You'll hear this, these two words pretty much in every conversation to Salesforce developers, admins, QAs, uh, architects, leads they have. This word will be available in every in everyone's dictionary. What is standard versus custom? Right? Tell me this, if you are on Spotify or if you are on Apple Music, can you change the way the music bar shows up or can you change the way the kind of songs that would be recommended to you? No, the platform handles it. The platform's algorithm handle it, handles it. There's no role of you doing any, anything around it. The best you can do is create a playlist of your own songs. Correct? That's the best you can do. You can reorder, you can queue, you can decide what to play next, right? But can you decide whether this song will be in uh, Apple Music or not, or will be uh, eligible for Spotify Music or not, for this country or not? No, that's not something that you can handle. That's something that the platform handles, correct? Anything that the platform handles or provides is called standard. True, true for Salesforce as well. Okay, so if it's a standard object, account, contact, lead, cases, task, reports, dashboard, asset, product, price book, location, all of these are standard objects. Standard fields created by, last modified by, name, owner ID, these are all standard fields. Standard application, what you see here. Did I create these applications? Sales, service, sales console, service console, marketing, CRM classic, no, these are all standard applications. A standard profile, system admin, right? Standard platform user, read-only user, API-only user. The, these kind of profiles are all standard. Whatever the platform provides as the offering of using Salesforce is standard. Anything beyond that, anything that you create or I create or we create on our own is custom. A custom profile, a custom object, a custom field, a custom rule, a custom code, a custom flow, everything is custom. And that's where it's called custom. What does Salesforce take care of and what does Salesforce take ownership of? Everything that's standard. So anything is wrong with the account object? Okay, I'll take a look. That's Salesforce telling you. They'll take a look. Something is wrong, we'll take a look. Something is wrong with the, with the release update? Okay, we'll take a look. We made a mess. We, we might have done, done a patch that might not work. We'll take a look on, on it. You have written a trigger and that's failing. That's your job to look into it. That's custom. So custom, everything we'll have to take care of. All the assignments, all the uh, rules, all the configurations, everything of custom is something we need to take care of. You will not get an offering from Salesforce as the platform, right? So if you see, if I'm on the Salesforce org and I've just created this org today, if I go to the accounts tab, first of all, the tab is available. Secondly, list views are available. When I go to the list view, there are a set of fields that are available. Correct? I'll give you a very small example. If I want to create a new list view, see, I have to do everything on my own. What am I doing? I'm creating a custom list view. Salesforce says it's custom list view. You take care of everything. So I have to name it. I have to give it an API name. I have to decide who sees it. I have to save it. I have to choose which fields to be shown. I have to filter it based on my filters. Everything and anything that's custom has to be managed, maintained and configured by me because it's custom. Make sense? So that's how you isolate, segregate and differentiate standard versus custom. A very good nomenclature idea when you're looking at objects. If you're looking at objects, right? So if I go to setup and if I take a look at, for example, the object manager, you see this API name, API name for standard objects is pretty much the same name as their label, correct? If you see everything, messaging end user, messaging session, ent entity milestone, all of this is standard. Why? Because they don't contain an underscore underscore C, which is appended at the end. If I were to create a custom object of my own, that would 
have the API name of underscore underscore C at the end. So let's say if I say my personal object, see I'm creating a my custom object. It's telling me to do everything. It will not do anything for me. So I'll just go ahead and save it just to show you one thing. So once I save it, see a custom object is created and it says it's custom. Correct. And you see the difference between the nomenclature, the naming, see account, the API name is account. But if you take a look at the my personal object, right, the API name is my underscore personal underscore object and then it's appended by underscore underscore C. So Salesforce ensures that you can bifurcate or understand what is standard and what is custom. So anything that's custom would have underscore underscore C appended at the end of it. So if it is a field, uh, if it is a custom object, the name of the object, it would have underscore underscore C on it. Okay, or else you will get the type information. See type custom object, type custom profile. So you'll, you'll get to know it is custom and that's how you can isolate or identify what is standard and what is custom. All right. So that was about standard versus custom.